Good evening everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello, my name is Mawahib and in today's video is going to be an honest review of Wooden Wicker products and my shopping experience with them. Before I get into this video, please hit that subscribe button down below and help me reach a thousand subscribers because I know for sure we can do this together. With that being said, let's get straight into this video. So the first thing that I'm gonna talk about is the way my order was packaged. My order was packaged pretty well. It was pretty well done, honestly, it was. And bear in mind that I live in the UK and the Wooden Wood Coat is a US supplier. So when I did receive my package, I was very impressed with the way everything was put together, well presented, they used recycled, paper and recycled cardboard box as well so I was very impressed with that. I was impressed how everything was put together and everything came in one piece, nothing was broken because I also ordered a um, a, spray, a glass spray bottle so that came in one piece, nothing has been broken. But the one thing that let me down though was the uh, fragrances, they unfortunately leaked. The way my fragrances were packaged was poor so I had, they came in a, a cardboard box, I had scattered tissue paper um, a shredded paper, sorry, not scattered, shredded paper and then all my fragrances were uh, scattered all over the place. So I'm going to show you guys how the actual bottles look like because I got the fragrance discovery kit, all natural collection, spring, summer and autumn and winter. So I'm going to show you guys how the actual bottle looks like because I think one of the reasons as well as poor packaging is the way the bottles are. So I'm going to show you that right now. Alright guys, so here is the bottles that I was talking to you about. So I got the autumn, winter and the spring, summer. I don't know which is which, but these these bottles are pretty good quality. Um, you just open it and pour it. And these bottles that I was talking about that are bad quality, I just can't get them to open at all. I haven't used half of these bottles because I get them. I can't get them to open. And look, my hands are all wet because they're just so e they leak so easily. So here is one that I used. Oh, let me try pull it. So here's one that I used. So it's, it's, I don't know, it's something that you squeeze. It's just poor quality, honestly. And um, the labeling were all coming off. So I was like having to sellotape all the labels so I know which is which. But yeah. So now let's move on to the quality of the actual products. So I got the waxes, I got the fragrances, and I also got a base for a room spray or a body spray. And um, I think that's all I've got. I think that's everything that I got and the actual spray bottle. So the quality of the wax is amazing. If you guys want to see me testing it out, I have two, I think, or three videos I've done up on my YouTube channel. I'll link them down below in the description. So make sure you check them out. And um, I also have a few notes that I have written down in my notes that I would like to share with you in terms of the waxes. So the waxes are, they're really, honestly, they're really good quality as well. So they, they are toxic free, paraben free, phthalates free and gluten free, which honestly, I, which I appreciate. So that's a good one. And apart from my fragrances leaking, I love the quality of my fragrances. There's that one fragrance that I'm obsessed with. I'm not going to give it away just yet. I'll share it. I'll share it with you guys maybe sometime in the future. Uh, but I am obsessed with that smell, it smells amazing. I used it for the room, room spray. Actually, I wanna show you the room spray, just give me a second. All right guys, so here is the spray. I'm so proud of it. I am so proud of the spray. I actually didn't even film how I made the spray. In future videos, I'll definitely share how I make um, room sprays. This is the spray. And this is the bottle that I got also from Wooden Wood Co. But I'm not gonna share the type, my, the fragrance that I use just yet. This base is organic, wild crafted, witch hazel. So I'm gonna show you up close as well. Oh, I hope you guys can see that. So yeah, that's the base I used, and I used the the secret. Well, not so secret because they do sell it. But so it smells, it smells heavenly. I could spray it forever. I could spray it forever. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to move on to shipping costs. Now, if you are a UK customer, this is for you. Obviously, it's a, it's a US supplier, like I mentioned at the start of the video. So you're going to have to pay shipping and shipping is pretty expensive. I paid around, if I'm not mistaken, it's either £60 or £69 for shipping. It's one of them. I'll double check on my receipt and I'll pop it on the screen just in case um, for the exact number. And on top of that, custom charges custom charges to the uk is so expensive on top of your shipping costs which is a big expense so 
I would definitely like in terms of if I was to purchase from them again I'll definitely not gonna be purchasing purchasing the waxes again because the UK suppliers and soy wax and soy and coconut wax I'm pretty happy with I also have videos where I've done uh, where I tested soy wax and uh, coconut and soy wax so I'll pop them in the links down below as well I'll pop it in the links I'll pop it in the description down below so you guys can check that out so I'm pretty happy with UK suppliers in terms of the waxes but for something like that like you know for room sprays for when I do room sprays the base I'm really happy with this is I know I showed you earlier but I don't think I said it was 100% natural and it's 100% natural plus organic wild harvested witch hazel and it's 100% natural plus organic grain alcohol I'm really happy with that and if you guys want to know any more of this product I'm gonna link everything down below I'm also gonna link the website down below if you guys wanna just shop around or have a browse or maybe even actually buy from them they're such a good company but obviously there's only certain things that I would buy from buy from them and maybe that would be further into the future because the shipping cost is a lot and the custom charges so when I can afford to I'll definitely be purchasing with them once again 100% or maybe not once like a few times if I want to make room sprays and diffusers they also have diffuser bases bases sorry that's I think natural as well so I'm not too sure I think they are I'll pop everything in the links down below and in the links I keep saying in the links in the description down below so the final thing that I would like to talk about is their customer service I was so happy with the customer service especially when I had I had previous a lot of previous questions before I purchased from them and also they helped me a lot when I had my fragrances leaked so they're super helpful all I had to do was just take pictures of the fragrances and then um, they sent me over replaceables of the ones that leaked so I did actually use up the fragrances that I could use and obviously the ones that have poor packaging I'm still struggling to get it, to get it open but I will eventually use them I'll have my dad or someone to help me open them up but yeah I think they should definitely work on different packaging in terms of in the wax discovery kit I'll actually show not the wax discovery kit the fragrance discovery kit so I'll actually show a picture uh, on the screen how it's meant to actually come because I've seen a few people that receive packages from the wooden wicker in terms of the, the fragrance kit is that it comes in such a beautiful like laid out box but I don't know why I received mine in a flat cardboard box of like shredded paper and like it was just all over the place at least I got my replaceable fragrances um, coming through so hopefully they'll come through any day or anytime soon and I also follow them very very closely on social media on YouTube on Instagram and if you guys don't follow me on Instagram please do I'll put my handle name at the on the screen it's at Moahib Gazal so please come and say hi Let's have a chat. Ask me about anything. If I missed out anything in this, in this actual, in the video, so please ask me. I'm more than happy to to answer your questions while I. All right, guys. So this is it for today's video. I hope you found it informative and or helped you in some way, shape, or form. Please hit that subscribe button down below and give this video a huge thumbs up and leave a comment down below on what videos you'd like to see from me in the future and hit that bell button so you guys can get notified every time I post. With that being said, see you in the next one. Bye bye. All right guys, so here's a little teaser on what the next video is going to be about. I can't wait to open these with you. I'm not going to open them up until ne in my next video. So stay tuned.